Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will demonstrate how to test knock sensor on BMW guys X1. If you have a BMW X1, doesn't matter if it's a four cylinder, six cylinder, gasoline or diesel, you guys have knock sensors and we will explain how to test them. Now, very important guys, for the normal operation of your engine and driving without uh, with a uh, bad knock sensor or without one guys uh, can cause quite a bit of damage and we have a special video that explains can I drive with a bad knock sensor please check it out now quick introduction before we start guys it will apply to any BMW pretty much as you know the engines that are in X1 you can find them in 3 series 5 series X3 uh, 6 series BMW multiple BMWs guys uh, the as you know Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. And why we guys do all that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to our channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. Now, uh, if you guys need help finding the knock sensors or uh, the tools that we're using, we'll share the links in the description of the video below. And all that will be there, guys, okay, for your convenience. So please, guys, okay, check it out. Now, what we have here, as I said, this is a six cylinder N52 engine. But even if you have a four cylinder procedure, it's practically the same. If you want to remove and replace knock sensors, we have the video guys on the channel that explains how to do that. You have to remove the intake manifold. Then right here, guys, those are your knock sensors and they will be mounted to the, okay, they will be mounted on the engine box, guys. Okay, most likely on the engine box or the cylinder head. Okay, kind of like that. So. We removed ours and we're going to test what it does. But let's explain what the knock sensor does and how to know if it's good or bad, guys. A uh, knock sensor detects, okay, detects if the explosion in the cylinders happens too early. It's going to detect that as a vibration because it will knock. You can even hear that knock, especially older vehicles that didn't have the knock control. What could happen, okay, when you put low octane fuel and under hard acceleration in higher gear, you can hear that knock, guys. So that knock, it's not good. It can damage your vehicle. That's why the knock sensors, modern vehicles have knock sensor. They listen for that through vibrations and send signal to the engine computer and say, hey, dude, we need to change something. And it adjusts the ignition timing so we can get rid of that. Most of the BMW sensors, they come in a pair of two guys. So you have to replace both of them at the same time. You can see like connector like this one. One, one wire is for one sensor, the other one for the other one. Now, right here, each sensor has two wires. So the left, uh, uh, the left half, uh, both wires are for one sensor, the right half, they're for another sensor. So uh, let's actually go ahead, okay? Do the right one. Okay, we're going to touch the leads. One lead to one wire, the other lead to another wire, perfect. We're going to turn the voltmeter to millivolts, guys millivolts okay this is automatic one it's amazing one and we'll share the link in the description of the video below click select dc millivolts now that sensor shouldn't guys show anything like very very minimum voltage now if i tap on it you should see that voltage guys climbing when when it detects vibration listen now uh, check, check out now Okay, we're not touching the, the leads, so we need to readjust things. Make sure everything's contacting good. Okay, we still... Okay, if it's not working, maybe it's a bad sensor. Maybe delete it. Okay, now we're... I think we'll be good. So, check it out. Okay, how it moves. It goes up. Okay, when we tap on it. The moment I tap on it, Okay, it goes up. Now, some tools that you get may make a little bit more of a vibration, like this one here. Okay, check it out. It's going to detect that. So, definitely, guys, it's kind of like hitting the sensor almost. And that definitely detects that there is vibration and it's a working sensor. You can see how it goes up and down. So, that definitely takes care of the problem. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. If you don't get any reading, it's bad. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.